Hello everyone, welcome to the final episode of Future the Crafter. And today I'm very happy because I have Ian with me. Yeah, and Ian is, is someone that is very uh, friendly, uh, approachable and also most important, he's a very family oriented man. Ian, can you say hi to the audience? Hi everybody, hi my name is Ian. Yeah, okay, thank you Ian for today uh, I'll be featured in our this episode. And today, our topic is very interesting. Our topic is putting people first. Oh, uh, so Peter, you, you've been in this industry for quite some time now. So I was just wondering, what do you mean by, uh, what does putting people first in this industry actually mean to you? Okay, um, I guess that over time, I really get a deeper understanding about this word, putting people first. Um, because when I first got into this business, I was just told that this business is something that I can really, really earn a lot of money. You know, like, like a very typical sales job. But no one actually t- was tell- uh, telling me that, wow, I got to be good with people. <laughs> yeah. And I guess over time, I truly understand that what does putting people first mean? Because in our day-to-day dealing, we get to interact with many people from all walks of life. From the people working in a hawker center, to people who is an engineer, to even people working in, as a lawyer and a doctor who is saving life every single day. And to really do well in this industry, I guess putting our clients' interest above ours would be the number one priority to do. Because when we do that, um, our client and our people that we interact with, they can feel it and they can totally see whether are we genuine in reaching out to help them to solve that problem. Mm. Good, thanks for yeah. sharing. <laughs> right. So yeah, maybe for also for yourself, when we talk about putting people first, what does it mean for you to you? Yeah, I, I um, just a bit of background about myself. I, I, I came from, uh, you know, prior to joining financial consultancy, uh, I was actually uh, in, in the hotel business, in the hotel oh. line. Yeah, so I was actually doing more of like guest relations. So, mm. so I absolutely understand what it means by putting people first. Uh, the, 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 I, I believe that in every successful service business, uh, the, the service expect is actually very important. Mm. about about uh, meeting clients uh, or customers needs uh putting their their uh priorities first instead of our own uh wants and needs i think this is what actually brings about uh success into many um organizations out there yeah so so for me i i've, I've always understood the idea of uh what um what important service or excellent service is about uh, that's why uh, I chose this industry because it's to me about impacting people's lives as well. Yeah. Wow, wow, nice, nice. <laughs> so, Ian, just now you were mentioning that you were a mid career switch. That means yeah. this is not your first job, right? No, no, no. Uh, joining, no. Jo- yeah, yeah. Uh, this, this is actually my second job. Uh, mm. my, my first job was in the tourism and hospitality industry. Uh, I've been there for about five years. Uh, wow, that's very long. Uh, <laughs> considerably, yeah, but I just that was actually my first uh, career like, after graduation. Ah, yeah, so right, so right, after five right. years, uh, I've set, settled down with my family uh, mm. and decided to do the switch because it's um, I think it's quite a norm to say that the tourism and hospitality line is quite long hours. Mm. Yeah, we actually burn quite long hours and odd hours as well because of the sh- rotational shift uh, working hours. Um, hence, um, it's quite a challenge to have a family as well as to be in the industry, lah. Yeah, but, mm. but I still salute those who are still in the industry. Yeah, because <laughs> it's really not easy for them. Uh, but for me personally, it's um, I would say that moving into this line as a financial consultant is more of a, a progression in life. Mm. Yeah, for me, it's right. all about progre- progressing, lah. Yeah. So I chose this career is because it's very somewhat similar to my previous industry. Uh, where I still connect with people on a daily basis, I still service them, uh, and 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 provide solutions. So it's very similar to what I was doing previously, uh, mm. and, and I would say that it's uh, it has never been a day that I look back because I I find that this industry really suits me, uh, as well as for a lot of people who are out there who are looking for a career switch at this point of time. I think I think uh, considering this this career um, could be suitable. 
uh, mm. because of uh, many many benefits that 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 uh, we are willing to share with you. If you guys are keen to know about it, yeah. Okay. So Ian, uh, I understand since then you know you are mid career switch. So I think that one of the questions that a lot of people will want to find out is how do you overcome the initial challenges? I am very sure that there might be some challenges along the way that you mm. face, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So how do you actually overcome? Maybe you can share with us. Tell uh, me more. Sure. Yeah. I think there's a few uh, concerns or reservations at the start uh, before I do the switch. Um, one is definitely about uh, income. Yeah. Right. Moving from uh, employed income to to uh, self-employed income, uh, which also means that um, uh, now I am moving towards uh, from a, from a st- stable income, mm. monthly stable income to something that is a bit more uh, uh, uncertain lah. Yeah, mm. so, so that to me was also a concern because I have kids, uh, I have a family, you know, I have like running costs every month mm. about paying mm-hmm. mortgage, about paying True. like utilities. So that was a concern for me. Uh, but what really helped me with the with the decision to join was that uh, now there, there there's actually the, the Management Associate Program, which is mm. MAP for short, that really helped us uh, new financial consultants to to uh, to have a good kickstart. Oh, in, I see. In this career, uh, it, it's actually a basically a two month, uh, two years, uh, allowance, monthly allowance that is provided to making this decision. I see. Mm. I see. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. So, so that's nice. Then maybe I also want to, you know, it, it is just for my own curiosity. How do you actually know that this finance industry is the right path for you? Um, I didn't really. Uh, <laughs> I, I guess it's a leap of faith. Uh, I, I didn't really knew what was um, uh, uh, whether this this career would be suitable for me. Yeah, I guess. Mm. Uh, just like many people who apply for jobs, I don't think I may, they they may not know whether that job will be suitable for them. You know, for 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 the long run. I guess it's about uh, giving it a, a try, a shot. Yeah, and and uh, once you're in it, you uh, if, if it's really suitable, it's about uh, progressing and excelling in in the job. Huh? So so that to me has been uh, has been my path, my career path for the past three four years in in this mm. industry, uh, where every year I'm looking into how I can uh, progress further, uh, and how to make it uh, how to keep the fire burning or the the interest uh, going lah. Yeah. Mm, nice, nice, nice. <laughs> okay. Now okay, maybe yeah, Peter, for yourself. Me. Yeah, maybe maybe you want to share with me more about uh the the fourteen years in 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 this in this business or or uh how, how has it been for for you? Wow. Okay. Sure. Uh, I guess I started when uh, uh, uh as a sales consultant and I was doing. In fact, not sure if everybody knows, I was doing my part time banking and finance degree in my first three years while at the same time doing my full-time duty as a financial consultant right and that three years was the most memorable because i have to i have only time to work 10 months in a year and i allocate two months to study and I remember National Library Bugis was, uh, was my favorite place because that's the place where I had to put out everything, face the textbook to make sure that I pass my UOL examination. <laughs> oh, so yeah. you're from UOL as well? Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes, they did. Yeah, it was this. Uh, I mean, I, I, I graduated from UOL as well. Yeah, mm. we put it in. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. So you will know that it is not easy, right? Uh, there are no projects and stuff. It was just purely one time exam at the end of the year that determined whether we pass or fail. So that three years wasn't easy, but uh, I thank God that uh, you know that I managed to pull through it. Yeah, and I guess as I progress in this work, uh, the purpose of what I'm doing has become clearer and clearer because I get to see that what I'm doing daily does have impact on people's life especially when it comes to claim uh, whereby in my past 14 years i have done about three death claim two critical illness claim and it was indeed at such a moment and time that i truly understand the full impact of my advice to the clients that i am talking to 
Right. Yeah. So that's my, uh, like in short lah. That's my 40 years of journey. <laughs> uh, but I really enjoy the 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 whole putting people's first mentality mm, because I learn a lot from my clients and my, my agent day in day out. In fact, at where I am now, I still learn. Right. I mean, uh, learning never stops, right? It's always yes, uh, all indeed lah. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, yeah. Peter. Thank you. No problem. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for your time today. And if you like what you see, uh, I have a good news for you. We are going to hold an event soon. And please stay tuned with their event and follow us on social media. You can either uh, like and share this page or you can follow, you can direct PM me on Yen. Mm. And we will keep you informed of the upcoming event so that you can get to know us much more. Right? Okay, with that, I just want to say bye-bye. Thank you everybody, bye-bye.